Hello, happy Thanksgiving everybody. Hope you guys are having a good good time so far. It's raining a bit out here in Southeast Texas. Teachers are working fine. I just don't like that water. You see how it's wet on the on the planks? I feel like that's gonna make it uh, rock and it's gonna reduce the life of this teepee. So I came up with a new design. I mean, these are working perfect, don't get me wrong. They're all tucked away nicely inside. That's another one back there. I got my doghouse in here. Let's see, there's another one. This guy here got tangled up. I gotta, I gotta put that anchor for the tie cord, but still it's working, it's working. Anyways, I noticed the plants are getting wet, so I like that design here better. I'm gonna go ahead and I feel like that's gonna last longer. The water will just slide right off. So I'm making a new design. Let me show you. This is what I came up with. It's also helping me save wood. Uh, I just met a, a 40 degree, 45 cut up here. So I could be able to nail the cheapest the, the planks with no problem i went on and used three uh one by one by ones so i did the same thing i cut the two by four in half and i was able to use three as opposed to four on each teepee i got two in the bottom and then this one on the top i used the same one for both planks both sides of the planks now down here I added that for extra support, but it also has another purpose. The roosters can roost up there when it's raining, like today. I know you notice it's a little bit of water back there, so water, water will gather around. I'm also gonna put sand, make a little mount, and put them on a, raise them up about this high, like a radius going around the whole teepee just a teepee that way it can stay a little raised up and the water will just it won't puddle down there it's still gonna puddle I know but that's why I added this this board here also support uh, this teepee here it seems like it's gonna work a little better once I add my piece of sheet metal up here it's gonna help the water just come run all the way down uh, Hopefully we don't get too much water in this cracks here, but it's still gonna help slide down. It won't. It won't. Uh, what do you What do you call this? I don't think it's gonna slide down and then make its way in the cracks. It's gonna last a little longer. So I just improvised it in order for it to last a little longer. Also wanted to uh, mention another way of saving money. Uh, I'm gonna add a coat of paint to this so it can last me a little longer. And all these little details are changing the the life of those teepees. It's gonna make them last you a long time. I'm, I'm probably not gonna end up replacing any of them because I mean I had them for like freaking three, four years and they're still there. The wood's still pretty solid. I didn't add anything to them. I didn't add anything to them and I didn't make them as as uh, I didn't put that metal piece on top You know, I've been on improvising this 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 teepees. I got some time in my hands and I improvised them Right now. I'm cooking my turkey for Thanksgiving and while I'm, I'm smoking the turkey for Thanksgiving And while I'm waiting for that I figure I make this teepee here. I'm gonna make me another two more Also that design is a lot faster. You can finish a lot faster less cuts uh, you waste a lot of less less planks. Uh, if I cut this, I would usually cut this at 18 inches, which is the same this the same width from here to that side. And I'll have this little piece. I was throwing it away. Now I figure I'm, I'm making my little taller, and I don't have to throw anything away. You know, just uh, a little bit of the rotten wood on the bottom. This are pretty old, but a little bit of that rotten wood at the bottom is gonna get cut off just a little bit. So you save a lot of wood. Anyway, back to the paint. Head over to Home Depot and go to that oops aisle. Get yourself any color you want. Uh, 
I found this up here. This is a stain for nine bucks. This is really good stain. I can use that. I also find this white one here. It's Rust-Oleum. This is pretty good. It's for concrete. It's for concrete and stuff like that. So this thing here is going to last me a long time. I know that. That thing creates a coat. Real thick coat. I might be able to seal the cracks up here. If I put enough, uh, if I let it dry and then I put another coat on it, it might be able to drill to seal the, this cracks here. And I won't have to worry about water seeping in through there. So just giving you guys ideas. I hope you, uh, I hope this is uh, useful information you guys can use. And uh, another thing, the rings at Home Depot are pretty pricey. So I went to Amazon and I got me a, a pack of 30 for, uh, shit, for 12 bucks, 12, 10 bucks. I saved a lot of money on them. Here's my anchors ready. I have a few stacks running around, almost old enough for me to, almost old enough for me to put them up. As soon as that spur gets big enough, and we got a lot of water puddling up here. As soon as that spur gets big enough, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie them to their tie cords and put them up. And I'll make a video of all the pullets too that I'm gonna pick up. I'm going to show you how the bullets are looking. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. Happy Thanksgiving. Let me show you my turkey too. I'm smoking it. I've been having it here for, for quite a bit. But I got to seal it up, man. I'm keeping it low. Slightly below 30. I mean 300. But I'm going to seal this up. Jesus, it's a lot of rain. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all.